In this video, I'm gonna show you step-by-step step how you can create your own personality quiz to grow your email list and sell your digital products using Kajabi and Interact. We're gonna create a seamless experience without the use of Zapier. We're going to look at the structure of a quiz and what are the main questions you need to focus on, then moving into Interact to actually build the quiz, and then into Kajabi to connect it all together to have a quiz funnel that generate leads and sell your products. Everything you hear from now on is based on our experience on building our personality quiz that is now converting at 25%. Meaning all of the people that actually signed up to see the results of the quiz bought something from our online store. Are you ready to do the same? Let's start. For this personality quiz, we want to start from the very end. So we want to define the outcomes of the quiz to begin with and reverse engineer our way back up. First of all, make an inventory of all the products that we have, which were 12. And the quiz idea actually came from finding a way to not dilute our marketing effort and have one single entry point for selling all of these products at once. But still, 12 products, there were a lot, so we had to come up with a better idea. One way to do that was to bundle some products together to create a bigger package. And this was our final selection of products. Six bundle of products equal six quiz outcomes. That's our starting point. Okay, we defined the quiz outcomes in terms of products, but now we want to create personalities that go with these products. And in this case, what I've did was grouping the main uh, bundles into niches. So the first one was ballet fitness, the other program was for prenatal, the postural, flexibility, and pure ballet as well. So that gave me a bit of more direction when crafting personality based for each outcome. Alessia, my wife, went to town and researched what would be the best match for our bundles and she found great dance and ballet personalities to attach to each of the outcomes. Each of the outcomes would be a different personality with different goals and different needs and desires. This way, when you get a specific result on the quiz, you see yourself being empowered by this ballet personality and the page will also suggest the package that is tailor fit to your personality. It's almost like we are qualifying you to buy our product. For the majority of the quiz funnel, we're gonna be using Kajabi, but because of the quiz mechanics are quite complex and you cannot do them in Kajabi, we're gonna be using a software called Interact. And if you want, there is a link in the description box below. You can start with a free trial and follow along with me. Let's build the quiz together. We are inside Try Interact and we are ready to build our quiz. And the first thing you wanna do is create new quiz. Immediately you are able to choose from a million different types of quizzes. You can even filter them by category and choose the one that you like the style the most. But for the sake of this tutorial, I'm gonna start from scratch and create a new quiz. I want a personality quiz, so I'm going with personality. Great, and we are in the builder. I am not gonna be using the home page of the quiz because um, Kajabi is gonna do that for me. Also, all the results, we're gonna have Kajabi pages. But the first thing we wanna do is to start from what we have, the results. So if you go here, I, I would suggest you to write down the personalities that you came up with. So in my case, if I need a ballet personality, I can use Alex from Flashdance and paste it in there. Then I can go to result two, Clara from Nutcracker and put in there and so on and so forth. By the way, if you want to have a look at the actual quiz that we created, there is a link in the description box below. Now back to the tutorial. Once all of your outcomes are done and laid out, you're ready to start building some questions. Since my quiz is going to be built around the question which at-home workout is right for you based on your ballet character, I need to understand what type of questions will lead to a specific outcome. So let's do a question test. Answer A, B, C, and D. You can have as many as you want with branching logic. You are the boss here. Let me show you what the branching logic backend actually looks like. If you click on, if you go on the question, if you click on branching logic on, it will bring you to a different menu. In this menu, you will have all of the results on the right, 
and all the questions as well. At the moment, we only have one question, so we're going to use that. Drag and drop it. And here you have it. You can start linking things, and the Start button will actually be linked to the first question. Now, because we don't have any more questions, that's the only thing we can do. But as you can see from here, you can branch off and create more questions to then end up into all of the possible outcomes. Actually, I want to place my outcomes down already so that I know how many I need to connect. So ideally, the most simple quiz would be to connect the outcome. But we don't want that. That would be a very terrible quiz. But just to make, <laughs> just to show you how this works. Of course, we need more questions, but before we want to create some kind of structure to begin with. And I'll show you a bird's eye view of what our actual quiz looks like in terms of branching logic structure. Here is the simplified version of the bare bone structure of your quiz. We highlight the outcomes first. Then we create the main questions that are going to be polarizing and decide which branch the user is going to end up with. This is the starting point for you to add more fun to the quiz. Now that you control the outcome and which question branches off into what, you can start creating the fun part of the quiz. At the end of everything, your quiz branching logic might look something similar to this. And if you look behind the complexity, you see what we've talked about. We outline the results first. We decide which question would lead to which specific outcome. And then we just added fun questions to add some spice to the quiz and make it more interesting. Let's have a look at the most polarizing questions and the fun questions as well, just to see how they compare. Let's have a look at our first question here is, how would you best describe yourself at the moment? I want them to label themselves clearly. As you can see, even if we are talking about ballet fitness, the five answers are completely different by design. The first one is aimed for people that are really, really, really into pure ballet. The second one is for people that want extreme flexibility. The third one is for pregnant women. The, the fourth is for people that only want the ballerina body, so more on the fitness side. And the posture people, the people that actually suffer from back pain and they're really looking into different ways of fixing that. So as you can see, all of the five questions are so different that I can already use this question to branch off into different branches and I already define some outcomes. This is one of the questions we use to separate people that want a bit more a do-it-yourself approach and have a library of content always available to them to the people that actually want more guidance and more like a day-by-day -day type of approach. If you had a magic wand, what would you like to have in your plan? I'm pretty independent. I only need routines to dance my socks off whenever I want. That's going to go in category one. I'm someone that needs a follow-along, day-by-day plan to move more and regain healthy habits. That's category two. Or, dancing is all I care about. I only need the steps and the music, of course. That's category, category one. I love a guide to teach me yummy, healthy recipes. Tell, tell me when to dance and how to look after myself every day, but without following a diet. That's category number two. This is one example where you can mix up questions that are clearly defined for two different types of people. And this is one of the questions that will branch off into different strands of your quiz. And this is an example, one of our fun questions. One of the questions that is not going to branch off into a different path, but they're there just to make them have fun. And the question is, which celebrity would you most likely work out with? We chose different answers because we know our people. We know what they love and what they like. And it doesn't really matter what they choose. We know that we are going to hit pretty much all of the personalities of our people out there. People that love uh, cardios from the 80s or a classic pure ballet or incredible stretching and flexibility exercises or needing more discipline, or just needed to have a laugh. So we chose characters from the cinema and celebrity world to just identify with those. Here's another fun question that it's even easier than the others because it's got only two answers. And 
which what type of dance teacher you prefer someone with experience that is amazing at dancing but also really nice and funny or someone that is strict and pushes you and challenges you you know we are polarizing because we wanted to grab like the two spheres of people that we're trying to attract but also this question is not going to define any specific path it's just a very easy thing to answer for anyone how often do you work out Anyone can answer that because we've included all of the possible answers. Every day, when I think about it, three times a week, every other day, never. People, by answering to these questions, they will believe more and more that the outcome that they're going to receive is incredibly tailored to their experience. Feel free to use as many fun questions as you want, as the more you add them, the more people will want to know what results they get. Little recap. Step one, define your quiz outcomes and the personalities attached to each result. Step number two, give it a main title. It, what is the quiz about? In our case is discover your ballet personality and the program that is tailor fit to you. What is your specific one? Then only focus on the questions that are going to be polarizing and dividing the users into one result or another. They might just be two or three. Everything else are fillers and fun questions, but make sure it works on paper and you are fairly confident that the questions are gonna direct to the right answer. As the last step, think about the questions that are just gonna enrich the experience for your users, make them feel that they are on the right path and even seeding some of the results and the goals that they can expect. The idea behind the quiz is that we want to have something fun for our user to do, but also grow our list and sell our products. And I want to be doing this entirely in Kajabi without having to collect the leads in Interact and then zap it back somehow and create more complexity in our business. We don't want that. So now I'm going to show you how I completely use Kajabi to do all the lead generation and the selling while keeping Interact only for the quiz side of things. Once you're done with your quiz, here's what you gotta do. Share and embed is the button you wanna click on, grab this link, and you're good to go from now. Copy it somewhere safe. And here we are in Kajabi in one of our landing page builder. We are now in Kajabi because I want to create the simplest landing page for my quiz. Again, I'm not using Intra for that, I'm using Kajabi. So I'm gonna create a landing page that looks kind of like the style that the quiz already has, so that it looks like it's in the same software. I just need a title, an image, a subtitle, what they can expect at the end of the quiz, and a big bold call to action for them to click on and start the quiz. That's it. But here's the magic. Remember the link that we copied from Interact? Now we can paste it as the URL for the call to action, but what we're gonna add at the end is this slash Q1. So instead of going on the home page of the intra quiz, it's going to go straight to question one. Boom, question one is there. And it looks like we are in the same website. Back to Kajabi. Now I want you to create a very, very simple page with just one opt-in. This way, before we show the results, we can collect name and email of anyone that has done the quiz and wants to have the results. We also want to have a skip this step for people that are just there for the fun and they are not actually going to buy anything from you so that all of the freebie seekers will not fill your list. Just create a simple page with an opt-in form and a call to action to it. Make sure you have one opt-in form per outcome of the quiz. This way you will be able to track which people opted in for which program. And you can follow up with them if you want with specific email sequences. So once you created this page, duplicate it and swap the form for the right one for as many outcomes as you have. As you can see, I've got six forms over here and I created six copies of the same page you've seen before linked to all of these opt-in forms. Now it's time to go back to Interact and connect the pages. Now that we're back here, we can decide what the outcomes are gonna direct people to. In this case, they all redirect to the single opt-in pages that are created in Kajabi. Make sure to add a bit more complexity on your URLs, otherwise people will understand that just by changing the numbers, they will see other results without doing the quiz and that's not good. The next and final step is now to create the landing pages for each of the quiz outcomes. As we mentioned at the beginning, we attached specific ballet characters to specific bundles that we want to sell. 
And here's the strategy that we used. Let me show you one of our landing pages to see what kind of structures we used that it's working really, really well for us. The first thing you wanna see in the page is the actual result. They finally know which ballet character they are. So you wanna tell them right away. And immediately after, you wanna say you're just like her. So you label them with an empowering statement. And they would say, oh my God, that's so me. We also want to start transitioning what the goals are because we want them to achieve those goals. And these are all the goals that we've written based on what type of interest, what type of training, what type of outcomes they actually want in their life. Therefore, what do we do? We qualify them for their tailor fit program that the quiz has decided for them. This used to be a landing page, self-standing on, on our online store, now has become a quiz result. Isn't that amazing? It makes total sense because it's directly based on their choices and when they read the sales page, they'll see, yes, this is exactly for me. And of course, the sales page goes deeper into what the program is all about now. Don't get intimidated by the length of this landing page. This landing page has been actually very easy to put together because we follow a very, very specific structure with this. We actually made it available and you can download it from the link in the description box below. It's free for you. It's exactly the same structure that we use in every landing page that's converting very well for us. You can take it, it's free. But going back to the result page, what you want to do is to create landing pages for each outcome by changing the personality and the results that you have at the very beginning, changing the empowering statement, the goals, because they're all different, and then transition into the bundle or the program or the service that you want them to then buy. We are swapping from Kajabi to Interact to Kajabi again, but for the end user, Nothing has changed. It looks the same. They don't care. They wouldn't care. Now you know how to create a quiz. And if you are using the system, let me know in the comments if it's going well for you. What's your conversion rate? And if you got stuck anywhere so I can help you out. And if writing sales pages doesn't come natural to you, totally understandable. We made a video about how we do it. We share our framework and every element that you need to put into a sales page to convert more in this video right here. Watch it right now.